Welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be going over how an automobile AC system works. And how this can help you is if you're having problems with your AC, understanding how it works, understanding how anything works that you're working on makes it a whole lot easier to diagnose it. Also, if you're going to take it somewhere and have it repaired, you can understand what the mechanics are talking about and try to help so they don't try to rip you off or flim flam you. So we actually have another video how to replace the compressor and diagnose. So we're not going to be diagnosing but we will be going over how it actually works. So to begin with Freon is a gas. And like any gas, you take uh, oxygen or propane, any type of, most any type of gas. When it's compressed, it becomes a liquid. Now, every air conditioner out there is pretty much the same thing. We're looking at a Dodge Ram truck here. But it's a BMW, it's a Mercedes, Honda. It doesn't matter, this air conditioning system is going to be basically the same with just a couple different things in it. So we're going to go over the couple different things also. This is actually the back of the compressor. So when you looked at the compressor, it was originally like this and it had the suction and the discharge lines here. So suction being gas goes in, discharge meaning gas goes out. And if you look at it, it's a bunch of little pistons. So if I turn it, you can see the pistons going up and down, All right? So what you're actually doing is compressing Freon. Now then it has this plate here, and the plate has these little spring things. And those are actually valves. So the way it goes is, this goes on, let's see if I can get it on there, like that. And here's your hole with the spring I just put my finger on before. The Freon will get sucked in here when the piston goes down, and then the piston will push back up on the next rotation, and it will push out here. So what creates a pressure is when, you know, it's pushed out here. It's a pretty simple thing actually and it comes out of the compressor as a hot gas so if we're looking at this and like I say this is a Dodge truck but all your automotives are set up the same they're going to look different obviously because you know depending on how they made for the car but the hot gas comes from the compressor and comes into here so this is a coil your condenser coil and as the gas travels through there, with the air blown across it, it cools down. So when it cools down, it becomes a liquid. And then it comes out this line here as a liquid. So it would be a cool liquid. Now, here's the one thing that can be a little bit different. This Dodge, it has a tube right here. You see, here's your high-pressure port. This is where we're coming out. This has what is called a orifice in the line. So... What that actually does, if you understand how a fuel injector works, it takes a solid fuel, liquid fuel, and it flashes it into a vapor. So it basically does the same thing. You have an orifice, and it goes through the orifice, and it will flash and turn the cool liquid Freon into a cold gas, and that's when it gets cold. So... When you have an orifice, it's permanent. Now, the only other way that's set, and I know BMW does this and a few auto manufacturers do this, they have what is called a TXV valve. And the difference is a TXV valve still flashes the Freon the same way, but a TXV valve will adjust itself. So, like a fuel injector, when you throttle, of course, it flashes more fuel into the cylinder. 
Same principle with the TXV valve. The more AC you need, the more it will flash the Freon into the coil inside. So then the line, like I said, this has an orifice in it. And it's actually, I don't know if you can see the indents there. That's where the actual orifice is. And so it flashes there. So this line will frost up past it. And it goes up to the back and goes through the coil in the front where the fan blows across it and you get cold AC inside. So that is another thing that can be different is how it's controlled from the inside. So this being an older Dodge truck, it's on, it's off, you know, fan high, low, medium, that's it. But of course, a lot, most of the newer cars have some type of climate control and temperature control that controls the AC unit. So one other thing that's on every AC unit is you have a high pressure and a low pressure switch. So if you can see back in there, that little black can, there's a switch in the top. That's a low pressure. And then down inside here, which we really can't see, is a high pressure. Now they will be in different places on different units. So you kind of just got to follow the line up. But the way it works is because you think about it, your engine is running at a different speed all the time. So it has to account for that. Where if it was in your house, you know, it would be running same speed all the time. The compressor would be. So it has the low pressure switch on it. And what it will do is drop out the clutch. So this has a pulley on the front that just turns all the time. Then there's a clutch in the front. So when it has enough Freon, it's turned on and everything's telling it to run, it pulls the clutch in and then it engages and then it will turn your pistons. All right. So then the high pressure is a safety to where if it builds up too much pressure, it drops the compressor out. The low pressure is a safety to where if it's not enough Freon, it drops the compressor out. So these options are, you know, all work together. And like I say, you know, I got to subscribe. We got a video on how to diagnose the whole entire system to go through. Because obviously there's other parts. You have fuse and so on like that. But this is the explanation of how a AC system works for an automobile. And I hope this helps you out some. You know, at least you help you understand so now you know what you're talking about. It's just not a box that you're looking at from the outside. You can see how it works. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.